Hi everyone, it's Caroline. Caroline on the hillside. I hope everyone is doing well. I welcome everyone here. I also would like to say thank you so much for coming to visit. I definitely love visiting my fellow community artists and uh, just everyone out there that's winging it and, you know, just having fun in their journals and in their adventures. So I wanted to take you along today in this beautiful, I called it beautiful, I had this, um, I don't know what to call it, I guess it's a sticker, and it. I had this when I did my scrapbooking days, and I used up this package that I had. This is a, a seed catalog that I turned into my glue book, creative art journal, um, didn't know what to call it at the time, you can see how how thick it is the back of it still has the page I reinforced the spine here with some paper bag I also made these dangles here I used a bottle cap an old washer that I found and just some uh, broken jewelry on some embroidery thread floss and here's a pin that I found in my mom's so-called stash <laughs> she probably got this from one of uh, one of our children a little angel so I put that on there too and it is dated from December 21st to November the um no, December 2021, sorry, to November 2022. And it also says here that I have some gaps in there. So I thought I would record that. And then also I tied it with this lanyard that came from something that we attended. Um, and I thought, yeah, I'll just use that. I've got it in my, in my supplies. And we'll just go ahead and do a little flip through here. This is what it is. I'm doing a flip through. And I just have some, just some splatters, some markings, some texture here on the page. This is a lot of collage work in here. I was very inspired to do that. Using up magazines and catalogs. And, and I have tabs that I have made out of cardboard and stapled on. And I have dates, and then there's going to be journaling in here also. I do remember now when I look at these pages, um, just really enjoying the collage, <laughs> just making think fun, funny and fun pictures and and stories out of um, a whole bunch of different ones. Used some, just a, again broken necklace. I beat it. I threaded it onto this uh, fun polka dot ribbon and because this is december so there's going to be winter themed and probably some christmas themed pages and here we are that was fun yeah this is different they're all different sections of of pages paint i mean i put this one i called this one all a glow because it was hot sauce a, flam a pretty pink flamingo in the in the southern parts of the world, which is hot. A fireplace. Um, yeah, I, th I think I needed some heat there. <laughs> so this one here coming close to New Year's. So we have a celebration page here of gold and champagne and really pretty tabs. Just used uh, scraps of tissue boxes here's some what giant watches that I love and when I saw these in a magazine cut those out they're fun to have and again just using markings and paint and all different kinds of yummy coloring things coloring um, tools here we have, oh yes, okay. So I do have some things here from my mom's 
some beautiful cards when my mom passed away. And um, just in here, love it. Thread glued on, different threads. Ringing in the new, I took some, cut that out of a, a magazine. Of course, it's all magazine images, clock. I love clocks. I love Windows clocks. I mean, don't we love it all? Old pages of our own. I said here, make every moment count. Of course, the time. Cards, compassion cards, sympathy cards. Um, this was the year my mom passed away, just a couple months after my mom passed away. And then so we got some, also some Christmas cards. And, oh yes, and I used, I made this paper clip. Well, I took a paper clip and all I did was curled the edges and I was I think I was going to put some dangles on here and then I I didn't but um just looking through this reminds me that I'm going to have to do this and and use that that was fun to do yes I'll have to do that for sure another holi holiday or Christmas card this here looks like a bird and this I this was a piece of um paint off paper and it had just a bunch of random colors on it. But when I ripped it off, it looked like the outline of a bird. So I continued that and I just put a beak. And I remember making this and I, I did write about it. And it was just a blob and I just added a happy accident. And I just added, continued on like he's sitting on a branch. And um, so that's what my eye saw. And then I have here in the background, if you can see it, just some tissue paper that came in in an order that I had uh, that I had made. So I used that as the background and just continued on with paint on there. This one here, this was my mom's pin. <laughs> a lot of stuff in here is going to be dedicated to mom. But this was her pin. And I don't wear these kinds of pins. I mean, I think she wore it briefly in the 80s. She had very many. And, um, but I decided to make, I wanted to make, you know, like Au Clair de la Lune. And, um, I wanted to make this dark sky page and I used my, my white pen. And here we are just, oh yes, a flip out. A trail um, pamphlet that we had. Very fun. Just remembering and, and reminiscing of uh, some beautiful adventure rides and, and rides that we took. I have here, where will we go in our Jeep or on our motorcycles? Here's just a road that we have. Pictures of our kids, reminiscing, making a splash, kids with uh, with their daddy, with my husband when we went, because I took the picture, we went to Old Forge, New York. This is just fun times. The camping, of us camping, kids doing their sports, figure skating. And I just did these corner tucks to keep it, to keep the pages in which was fun. Everything is fun. Oh, pictures of us, my mom and I, my mom and my dad and I. I did some journaling on here and just made this corner tuck with some scraps. Oh, I'm going to have to do that again too. That was fun. Picture of my dad. Did some journaling. There's his his death um, announcement, pictures of dad, pictures of Berlin. This is the last the last postcard that he sent me and his last visit that he was able to make. Oh, here's some more watches. 
took some hands that, from a child that I cut out and I put this glass in here and I wrote about how as a child I could have been a bit clumsy and I might have grabbed something and, <laughs> you know, broke it. And I just wrote about that. I dropped a few glasses in my in my life. And this here is a picture of with a button sewn on because my mom taught me how to sew, taught me how to repair my clothes. Lots of buttons in my life. Here's a picture of a of a girl, a daughter and her mom, or a girl and, and a and a mentor, whoever this can be a figure for. But it reminds me of me and my mom teaching me how to bake. Yep, making memories. I did lots of gold on these pages, which just was fantastic. Nice, heavy pages. I put, I glued two together for sure. And then I did lots of painting and um, some gesso and different things to make them sturdier. And this spread here, I have stairs, just random pictures. It just brought together this whole country sort of theme for me, this whole, both of the pages. And I was in that country folk art m mood mode um you know for some years in in the 80s the late 80s when uh and even into the 90s I guess because we got married in 88 so that's when I would have been decorating this is some uh napkin that I used to to blot off on and I just used it down here. I picked a bottle of wine, which our favorite wine is uh, Val Policella. And I just wrote my own little label in here because I couldn't find that one. And this here is, it's a poem. It's Brian Andreas and it says, she said she usually cried at least once each day, not because she was sad, but because the world was so beautiful and life was so short. And just, yeah. Beautiful. Using some fabric as tabs. Again, some collage here, which, oh, it's just uh, a chair. I took a piece of fabric and made like a, a cushion here. I did some tea and coffee staining and used my uh, stencils, some, some plastic doilies as stencils. I found, I, I said, stay a while. And I'm real, I'm a real homebody at heart, <laughs> which is true. And here we have, again, random. I made a lady here. I think I was starting to just do some fantasy faces, if you will, because I'm not an artist. <laughs> so that was fun, just having, having, having a play with that. Using tea. Um, tea uh, packaging as my my pockets. This one here was fun to make. Just a fun, a huge picture of this of a of a beautiful lady's face, but I took half of it off and I used I just used some flowers and some tea bags and added some paint and made this and said, why not? beautiful hummingbirds that we have here and I just love love the colors of that gesso and paint more collage my mom loved to collect uh, Swarovski figurines and a tab here and we love birds so that was that was fun this here again just Random painting. I, I took some feet because we should wash each other's feet. <laughs> Have a retreat. 
this is some um, wax. I made a parchment page with this yellow lined paper. I did some stamping and I put some wax on it and I really like the way that turned out. I'm going to have to try that again too. All these ideas that I haven't tried in a while. And some more, some old page here. At the time when I'm doing this, and let me know if you feel the same way. You know, you start putting everything together and it's kind of a mishmash and it might stay looking like a mishmash, but to me it ends up, it ends up being quite cohesive can't think of a different word. It blends together, just works well. And maybe it's just because that's what we like. So it's all in the eye of the beholder, isn't it? Or the eye of the artist. But I do like the way that looks. Using the um, the shelf liners as a uh, stencil, that was fun. Anything you have in your home to use as a stencil works great. Again, you can see some of my my seed catalog coming through. I wanted to keep some of the colors because I like the way that looks. Pages, mark making, piece of, uh, this is a piece of fabric. Uh, some kind of napkin that I coffee dyed. Ships and and... Here we are, the Mediterranean Sea. I wrote something there. I'm not going to read that now. And some packaging that I used as a big tab. I guess storms. Oh, it, there were a lot of storms. That's what it was. Yes, lots of storms going on. Because this is all kind of stormy weather. <laughs> Here's some more faces that I was practicing. I call and I named my ladies too. I don't know if I named her. Um, I did not name this lady here. Okay, but I did name this one I called Lila. I don't know why. She just looked like a Lila to me. And this one here I called Lacey. I guess I had an L. Yeah, Lacey. And these were berry dyed and all kinds of... Oh, I know why. Because of the lilacs. So that's Lilac Dreams. I, I definitely had the L's in my, this is using, um, you can tell what these are, little bread tabs, and I used some alcohol inks on here. Christmas, or just after Christmas and in the winter time, we got some pictures, and I did a little waterfall of our grandson, and... So this here was also another page that I had sort of blobbed onto, I don't know what else, um, brushed onto, and then it, to me, it looked like a horse, a horse, a horse's face. So that's what I did is I just, in my own mind, I don't know how to draw, I don't know perspe perspective or anything like that, but I just drew this horse's face. <laughs> so that was fun. And you can see this tissue box is still going strong. Then this lady here I drew and I put a little tiny crown that I found on a magazine and I drew her and I called her Chrissy. And yeah, that was, and I added some little, little diamond pendant on her there. I like Chrissy. I forgot about her. And here we are. This was, uh, I, I made these in January, but this was all about, you know, there's M&M's, Christmas M&M's, and I love this vibrant green color, and it just sparked my hour adventures sliding on our, on our dry, on our laneway after, after a nice snowfall, and our kids, our kids and grandkids coming to visit, and that's me tumbling over. I have a little video about that, which is, that's how I renew and how I relax. I just get on a crazy carpet and come down the hill. So these colors match this, and I just love that. And also this lady here that I made, and her name is Tangie. I called her Tangie. And I said she's so full of color. And 
most of the time I'm full of color too. <laughs> and so that's, that's Tangy and that's actually who you see on my, um, as my little, my little, uh, channel icon. I loved her eyes and her hair color and just went really well together. And here we are, more. This one has lots of writing and just more of subdued coloring. This lady here I painted or drew and painted and her name's Paisley. And this is more, more tea, <clears throat> excuse me. I mean, this was a collage, um, a postcard that I made. I made my own little, this was a baby, vintage baby photo from the photos that I have. And I put little, I made little wings and I cut those out, or I made them and, and cut them from this, this floral. And I just did a collage and I made a, um, a photocopy of it and I put it in here. And I thought that was, I really liked the way that turned out. And I did send this postcard to someone. I can't remember who it was. <laughs> More of the beautiful orange and green. Collage, messy. Just feeling like that sometimes. Birds and cats. Our cat loved birds. Not Our cat did not look like that. But this was just a very good reminder. Nice darker pages that I glued on. Lots of feathers and fluff and feathers, and that's what it, I wrote a lot about that. Another little lady here that I wrote, or that I, uh, that I named, and her name is Carrie. Yeah. And I did her hair like this. I When I remember painting this hair, and I thought, how many blowouts and haircuts did I do? that look like this and it just reminded me that I was in a rhythm and I don't know it's kind of <laughs> now these are wooden balls that were on a page and I really like the way they looked and I know there's a I think it's an Italian I don't know if it's bocce ball or lawn something I'm not sure what it's called but and there we are here beautiful flowers just tabs oh I like the colors this bird here I made, I just cut that shape out and did some doodling on it. Really fun, put a little beak. Just did some random stickers and collaging and yeah, I, mean, I like that bird. I'll have to make some more of those. A picture of my Christmas cactus, I took that and just printed it off and love the colors there. A little tiny envelope that I made and I secured it down with a piece of uh, card and I used that as, to make a little note. And that was, that's cute too, yeah. <laughs> Mushrooms, baskets. Just covering the page with random old tissue paper that I had you know, blotted on too and did some inky, inky stuff with. This is violas that I had in my garden in my previous home and my previous garden. And I took a picture and I put that and just wrote about those. Simple country pleasures, running in the rain. Yes, so fun. So this lady here, I obviously cut out. This lady here, I may, painted, and she is a tropical, not tropical. Um, I don't know what she looks like to me. She just looks very exotic. That's the word, the tropics and the exotics. And her name's Andy. <laughs> I'm going to have to make a uh, a book just about my girls here. Oh, and I know why she's Andy, because I had my lettuce, Andy boy, I had cut that out and it sparked me to make her name Andy. And I put here a paintbrush and I said, different strokes, you know, we all have different strokes. And I said, paint it, change it, do whatever you want. And here I have... 
Oh, this was Anna. Oh, we crafted together, my daughter, my granddaughter and I, on January. Oh, that's so fun. Oh, yes, and when they came over in our in our winter photos, and she, I called them, they're crazy carpets, and she called them silly rugs, so I wrote about that. That's so fun. Um, the, the envelope that comes in this catalog, if you want to send away, snail mail style. And then this is another quick doodle face that I made. And uh, and I'm looking for her name. And Oh, yes, her name right here, because this is this is uh, William Dam Seeds. That's the company. And I called her Wilhelmina. And that's her name. Just being silly. And this here is a pocket just with some random junk mail. Just using it all. Here I wrote on here. Oh, this lady here is called Glenda. And I made her January 2022. So she's Glenda, just using my um, sort of trash packaging. Fun. Another bird, some fabric. Now this lady here, <clears throat> I called her Serenity. That's, that's her name. They all look different, don't they? Oh, this is, I like this one too. This is a vintage, vintage magazine um, images, vintage doily. The whole thing is vintage. And I really like that one. Well, I guess I like them all. Just different. This one here, actually, this is from Creating with Jovi. Jovi, we did a um, swap and glue. I joined that. This was before I started my YouTube channel. And I obviously was watching, and, um, and I did a swap and glue. I joined in with her. So she sent me a beautiful card with a tag and wrote me a nice letter and sent me images and, and I used the images to do the swap and glue. So I made this page dedicated to that. Yes, that was fun to do the swap and glue. I really like that. That's, I was really getting into collaging more and uh, so that was fun to do. And here we go and just using that's for my receipts. A lot of this is just um, getting the pages covered with different paints and gesso and different images. Here's a pocket that I made in here. And I used, I just covered a piece of card and I and I did some journaling on that. A lot of packaging. This is like a trashy collage. <laughs> it's a kind of an everything. From the library of Caroline. And if anybody, yes, my nickname is Peppy. <laughs> it's out of it's out now. So as a child, as a as a you know, my close, close friends called me Pep. My brother still calls me Pep. And there's a story behind that, but I'm not going to share that right now. How I got my nickname. I don't know if I did previously, but I can share that one day. It's kind of cute. Pink flowers. What month are we in now? January. So yeah, we're feeling the seasonal effective disorder i guess the sad you want to just get into the flowers and the heat 
Um, this one's gold. I This was prompted by this wine that a friend brought. And I like the way that looked. Oh, I had this hat. <laughs> yeah, I had this hat from a clothing catalog. So I just put the hat on and added a face. So I made that face to go there. And I just put playing in my journal. Tabs on here. I have tabs on all the pages here. And this is a card, a beautiful card from a friend. And there's a ship. This is an actual vintage, um, not an iron-on, but like a transfer where you soak it in the water and you put it onto your page. But it's it was so beat up and I just uh, ripped around it and put it in here. My brother got me that. He found that gave it to me and so here just more collage enjoy the little moments in life so fun just plunk it down and here I have I I did some line drawing along the edge because this was already made and I could not stitch around it. And I just, I felt it needed that. And it looks, another little, we're in February now. That was nice. And birds. So I am seeing bits and pieces of my, uh, the beautiful here was part of a, like it was on a card, it was just part of the pack. A scrapbooking pack or a card making pack and this is part of it here this enjoy the little moment in life little moments in life and then I also have this here that was part of it so I I used that in this in this um, book just some receipts that I did some stenciling on wrote about what we received more collage, ribbon. These are photos that I took when we went when we went to Florida, one of our times that we went to Florida. And this is in St. Augustine, which was it's absolutely beautiful there. That was really fun. Nice, nice day trip there. Lots of talking. This is an, a butterfly that I cut out. I just, you know, followed a picture in a in a magazine. And I just made that. I think I folded it in half and just did that. Oh, I forgot to put the antenna on. I probably should do that now. I'll do that after. Library card. Cute little pink doily. packaging I say here patiently waiting for spring flowers warm sun clothesline adventures yes here's some birds I made this card that I wow yeah I really like that a whole bunch of different elements that I put together just use some sorry silk I believe So that was a fun collage just in a little pocket that I made. Gingham. And I keep doing this because it, the texture and the feel is just really nice. Circles that I made here. Grocery list or a list of things to do that we were that we were getting ready to do. Grandchildren. Happy birthday, Miles, our grandson. This is a clock, Clocks and Angels. I do have a, in one of my videos, I have another page that's dedicated. I had a reoccurring dream as a child about clocks and angels. And uh, this is, 
I don't know what the two of them have to do together, but that's what that reminds me of. Pictures. Gesso and just... Um, using envelopes and this was I think this was a sticker or something I don't know, I cut out these yes this was stickers and I used the negative part of it and then I just put that on there there's a little angel that I put together just a collaged angel my, vint my own vintage photograph that I cut up, put some wings behind her and just put some random body to her and I think she's pretty cute. With lace on the edge, we're getting, as you can see, bulkier here. Oh yes, and we the song that we sing with the grandchildren is down by the bay where the watermelons grow and so this picture came from a vintage book my brother um got for me and gave me and um this reminded me of that song and we had just visited with our with our grand some of our grandchildren that live away and this here very colorful and oh I love this the way this looked just took my sharpie and made random flowers on top of painted colorful pages here use some of the white jelly I call it jelly jelly roll jelly um pan pen oh is this two separate yeah I made her too, and I don't have a name for her. Oh, I think her name's Nej. Snow. That's why I left that there. Yes, that's what her name is. And she has a heart. And she's pretty darn cute. <laughs> so we're getting close to, uh, this says November the 20th. So I think I started the page, but here we're getting, it's February. So I think we're getting into Valentine's and that's what that was. So I got two dates on there. And this, these were, yes, because these were the gaps. Those are the gaps there. Those are angels. I have a penny. I called this pennies from heaven. There's a penny there that I put on. Save every penny. That's what we were, we were taught when we were children. Save your pennies and A mushroom that I was making getting close to the end and that's just a random piece of paper a crafty thing that I don't know this where this came from I think I had it for our daughter and I just ha still had the packaging more of this doodling page oh I love that <laughs> and this last page I took my my oats and I glued oh no I sewed it on the back page took a button and put it up here and I just made this into a uh, pocket and I have another girl in here let's see what she says it says peekaboo I see you oh here she is and she does not have a name oh no, she doesn't have a name, but she's got wings. This is to my mom. I don't have her. I don't have her name. I could call her Angel. There we go. That is the end of my large collage. My beautiful seed catalog. Why not do it? Thank you everyone for for coming along and um, sharing in my little adventure. I did a lot of faces in here and 
I'm going to go through this again and just remember, remember the fun collaging that I did. And I hope you can find some inspiration and just grab a book, grab a catalog, make one up yourself. Take some old bits and pieces that you have, bottle caps, washers, make some dangles. Just make it grungy, make it fun, make it bright. And just make, make sure you know that everything you do is beautiful. And you are beautiful too. Be adventurous and be fresh. And I will see you later. Take care, everyone. Bye.